Hello and welcome to Mantis Hub. Today we're going to be talking about creating and configuring your Mantis Hub projects. Now this is going to be one of the first things you do when creating, uh, when setting up your Mantis Hub because uh, you need somewhere to create your issues in. Now there are actually three classification types um, within Mantis Hub, three ways that you can classify your issues and the first is of course a project uh, and an issue will always just belong to one project uh, and the second is categories. So categories sit within your project and they will create uh, sub-classification types for your issues. And again, an issue will only belong to one category. The third way we can classify issue is with tags. Now tags are defined at a system level, so they're valid across all projects. And an issue can have multiple tags. So when deciding which one you want to use, like if you want to create a whole new project for a new set of issues, uh, you have to take into consideration if you want to use the extra capabilities that come with a project. The first is being able to set a project behavior through your project configuration. So there's a number of things you can define here at a project level, such as your field columns that are displayed in your view issues page, email notifications, um, and what will trigger an email notification, and a few more things like workflow thresholds, workflow transitions, etc. The other thing is that you can manage user access to projects if you want. So you can lock down user access uh, by setting a project to private and then adding or removing uh, users to the projects as necessary. You can also set different access levels per project. And lastly, you can disable a project um, by a simple checkbox and then the project and all its issues will be hidden from your system. So to create a project, you just need to head to the manage page here and then the manage projects tab. And then there's a create a new project button. Then you need to give your new project a name. Now the only thing to take into consideration when you do give it a name is that uh, you don't want it to be overly complicated, especially if you're using email reporting because that uh, project name may be included in the recipient address um, when you're submitting emails via, uh, submitting issues via email. The next field is the status and there's no real functionality um, for this field but it does allow you to classify uh, your projects. This checkbox here, Inherit Global Categories, allows you to use all the globally defined categories uh, within your system. You can also have locally defined uh, categories which we'll, we'll talk about a little bit later. The view status here is public by default but you can also set it to private as we mentioned before. If you want to control user access uh, to a project then you would set it to private. If you've set it to public all users will have access to the project uh, according to their global access level unless you've defined a more specific one for the project. Um, when it's private uh, only users you add will have access to the project, with the exception of administrators, uh, which have access to everything. And then you've got the option to add a description if you wish. Now once you've created uh, your project, to configure it, you just head into, again, Manage, Manage Projects, and then scroll down to the project you've just created and click on the hyperlink. And this is where you can configure a few more options within your project. Um, first of all, you can see there's a categories uh, section here. Uh, because we did click the inherit global categories uh, checkbox, you can see all these global categories are already listed there. And now we can add some uh, categories that are specific to this project. So they won't be shared or available in any of the other projects. You can also create multiple categories at once by using this handy pipe character. And then click add category. And you see, you can see amongst these uh, global categories, we've got a couple of personalized ones exclusive to this project. Next, we've got the version fields. With all of these fields, you actually have the option to copy configuration from an existing project. And that's really handy. Uh, you could maybe consider creating a project that's just set as a template for all your other projects and then simply copying across that configuration. So for example, we, we might want to copy versions across from, say, our Insanity Prevention project. And you can see that those versions are just copied across and configured. Next, we've got the Custom Fields section, and that allows you to select from globally defined custom fields and link them uh, for use within this project. 
This section here, Manage Accounts, now this allows you to add users specifically to a project. Now if you have set your project to public, you'll, all users will have access according to their global access level. But say for example, I want an engineer to be added to this project, but I want to give him only reporter access, I can do that. Um, so I'd simply select him from this list here to find the access level and then click add user. Note that the reporter access level is the default, uh, so make sure you set that access level as you wish. You can also show users with global access and that will show you all users that have access to this project with their global access level. So if this was private, uh, a project, you would only see any users you've added specifically in this project and also any administrators because administrators are the only other users that will have access to private projects. The other way that you can define project behavior and configuration is in is within the manage configuration tab. So by default all projects use the all project settings uh, unless you go in and set a specific configuration for your project and then you would override the default uh, all project settings. To do this, you would need to take note of our project selector at the top here. When you select your specific project uh, and then head into manage, manage configuration, any changes you make here will be specific to that project and only affect that project behavior. The options for configuration here include workflow thresholds, workflow transitions, etc., email notifications, for example. So if I want uh, different behavior in terms of email notifications within my project, uh, I would go into this section. And anything that you change within your managed configuration that is specific to a project is normally displayed in green and that will overwrite, as we said, all project settings. And it tells you here as well at the top. You can always delete any project specific settings that you've uh, set and it will go back to the default all projects value. And that about covers it. Uh, if you do have any further questions, you can always check out our knowledge base. There's a heap of uh, helpful articles there for you to check out. Uh, and you can always drop an email to our support team, support at mantishub.com. We love to hear from you. And thanks for listening.